In this video I'm going to explain how to reset the Wi-Fi spy tank or this instant spy tank uh, back to factory defaults in case you make a mistake in the settings or what you were trying didn't work out. Now I've got this one running as you can see and I've changed the SSID here to change me just to demonstrate that it has been reset back to defaults. Um, now, underneath it does have a little button called reset, but unfortunately that just turns it off and on again and doesn't reset the firmware back to def back to factory defaults. So any settings that you may have changed or made a mistake on, they will stay there, even if you press that setting and hold it. So in my post, I mentioned um, that you can connect two pins together, pin seven. Now, to get the pin out, I mentioned here, um, I included a link to another blog um, that where they have actually worked out and documented the full pin out of the board. So if we open this guy up, you can see here, here's the little um, router board here and the pins that it's referring to is this this section here, this, ro this double row of pins here. Now the pin we're after here is here, pin 7 called reset to default and ground underneath it. So we want to connect 7 and 9 together. Now we want, need to know in order to get like find the pin on the board because they're not labeled we need to find pin one and then go down four and five for ground so which one here is pin one now you'll notice that one of the pins has a square um, contact around it or square um, I don't know what you call it, a bit of silver PCB exposed to indicate that that one is pin 1. So in order to have it the same way around as this diagram, we're going to have to spin it round. Alright, now it's the same way around. So I've got it on still. And what I want to do is get I don't know, something to conduct electricity, just a little pin I've got. Actually, this is a just the leg of a, a resistor that I've cut off something else, but just the end of a wire or anything conductive, like just a, just a pin, sewing pin might work. All right, so we want to go down, what was it, four and five. So we want to go here, we want to go one, two, three, four, and five, and hold it for 15 seconds. All right, that should be long enough. Now I'm just gonna gonna wait a little bit. Put that back on. We'll just... Now I'm hoping this light will flash when it's reset. You can see it still hasn't gone away here. Let's try refreshing this. It'll change me is going away. So it's turned off. We'll just wait for it to wait for it to restart. Now it takes a little while for it to reset back to factory defaults. Not sure why. Maybe it's got another partition and it's just recopying across the firmware or configuration. Something like that. Not sure. It takes a little while. Now if this doesn't work. 
if it doesn't just start up again by itself you may have to say after like two minutes you may have to just turn it off at the power with the little power switch underneath and turn it back on again and that should do it so we still don't have still not reset Looks like it's not going to show up again. All right, I'm going to go ahead, turn it over, turn it off, wait a few seconds, turn it back on again, and wait for it to come up again. And hopefully we'll see the SS this start flashing again and the SSID come back as happy cow. flashing yet but it has shown up here happy cow give it a few more seconds there we go it's flashing again and yeah we can see here yeah, we'll connect to it connect to happy cow yep we'll go to it Let's go to the yep here we go and we're in. And that's it.